All right. In the previous video, we have just added this particular, you know, analysis sheet and this particular, you know, our dashboard sheet. So let us see what we can do to a dashboard sheet. I told you, at default, we always have this view. So when you first of all install, you know, Microsoft Excel package. Oh, because we're going to be creating dashboard now, we're going to make sure we have this view and it has been part of me. I always love to have this view always. I'm not really okay with this. This space is not much for me. To maintain my canvas now, what I do is just to go to the top level right here, go to view, and here we have different way to play around with. So I'm gonna take off the grid line and it looks very blank. Now I'm gonna take off the headings. So those numbers are gone. So this is what I have. So the next thing I do now is just to make sure I control A to highlight everything. And I want to change the color to this. Go to home, click right here. I'm going to go to the third one here where we have white background with dark 25%. So we have something like this, nicely done. So the next thing is for you to click right here and go to insert. So from there, you see where we have, you know, illustrations, click on it and you see the ships and we're going to go with this particular, you know, rectangle rounded corners and uh, we just get it. So I'm going to make sure it start from here. I would have to expand it. So the rounded corner is something I have to work on. I'm just going to make sure it's not that round. So this time around, I'm a bit satiated with this. It can just make sure I create a space for it and just make sure it closes this way. And now if I'm not really sure of, you know, if this is centralized or whatsoever, it could be like this, right? So there is nothing you can do about it. So what you can do is for you to make sure you use your eye to, you know, cut it and see if this is in the middle of this, because this other color for the background, I need it to appear. So the next thing I do is to control one and I have this line. I'm going to just say no line to it because I don't want to have border around it. Then I go to this particular part here, click on this and I pick this particular color with 5% darker white. And this is what we have as, a, as the end result. Can you see this? It gives us something like this. So if you want more space in between, you can just decrease it and have something like this. So you can always make your adjustment, you know, spend a lot of time, you know, on your dashboard. So this is what you have. So make sure you always save your work to avoid any, you know, shutdown, unnecessarily shutdown, you know, when you work on your dashboard. So this is what we have to do for the first time. So we've just maintained the dashboard area and the data area here is ready. So you might want to give it a nice look. And to give it a nice look, what I'll do for the first time is just for me to actually clear the color we have right here. And as well, turn off this particular, you know, filter aspect of it right here as well. So let's see how we can do that.